Alright, so to be honest, going into this album, I don't really know how I feel. Because listen, Bangers was a banger. That's probably one of my favorite Miley albums to this day. Granted, I didn't listen to her last one, Miley and the Dead Pets, because honestly, I was a little scared too. <laughs> I really, like you want to talk about not knowing what to expect. That album, like, we don't talk about her. But anyway, I think this album's gonna be good. I think, in a way, this is kind of like a rebirth of Miley. Just from the two songs that she's released so far that we've heard, it definitely sounds like it's going in a lot more, like, calmer, maybe country-esque vibe. And granted, that's not really my type of music, but at the same time, I can appreciate the artistry and that she's doing something that she wants to do and changing for herself, so... This album should be pretty interesting, so let's get into it. So I've only heard this song like once or twice maybe, but I've never really focused on the lyrics, so I'm going to do that this time. Wait, 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 let's pause it right there. Feels like I just woke up, like all this time I've been asleep, even though it's not who I am, I'm not afraid of who I used to be. Girl, she's adding old Miley. She's like, hey boo, you were kind of a mess, you were cute for a moment, but it's not who I am anymore. But I like that she's embracing it, you know what I mean? A lot of pop stars, when they have like their moment, they just kind of sweep it under the rug, they're like, eh. but she's just like, yeah, that was me. I had my moment, but here I am. I was just being Miley, but here I am today. And then the next line is, no one stays the same, you know what goes up must go down. Change is the thing you can count on, I feel so much younger now. Honestly, I feel like this is such a good opening track for this album because it's pretty much just setting the tone of the whole entire album, of this whole era that Miley is creating. And she just sounds bombing it, so let's continue on with the song. The it's like she sounds so good. Even if you're not a Miley fan, you cannot deny the fact that her vocals in this song, I can't wait to hear the rest of the album, so good. So fucking good. Alright, and then we have this cute ass song. I will never forget the performance when she did this. I forgot what award show it was, but where she was wearing all white and the balloons fell down and she started crying. I was just like, damn. This is Miley, you know what I mean? It was just so cool to see her totally transform. Here I am. Next to you in my album. Next to and those music videos are so cute, just around the beach dancing. Oh my god. Y'all, I'm just saying. She had her little phase when she wasn't with Liam anymore, and as soon as she got back together with him, she is this. I keep saying this. Dick does you wonders. Okay. Hey Molly, it's me. I'm in Nashville. I'm on my way to Dollywood, busy as you are. But anyway, I'm excited about it. Uh, singing with you. Sing along with it. Then I'll run you off a CD later. Oh, I'm so hot, Tim. I got a flip phone, too. But anyhow, uh, see what you think. I go. Come on. Okay, no matter, like, what you think about country music, country stars, the culture, whatever, Dolly Parton is a legend in all aspects of the word. Oh my god, could you imagine having Dolly Parton as like your godmother? I feel like she would just be the coolest person to call up and be like, hey! And like, you wouldn't feel embarrassed to talk about anything. And then I kind of feel that way with Miley, which is why I'm not mad at this song at all, because lately Miley has been so open about like her political views and how she feels about certain topics that a lot of artists shy away from because they're like, oh, I'm gonna lose my fans and blah, blah, blah. Like, no. Miley is out here talking about topics and important issues that need to be talked about. She really utilizes that feeling in this song with Rainbow Land. You know, a place where people can just be people and other people just don't have to give a fuck about how they live and how they want to be. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> God. Is gorgeous. Oh my god, okay. Ooh, I hear your vocals. She has so many hidden vocals. I wish like they were I wish they were more present in the chorus. First things first, I gather up all my girls. Yeah. So I'm already getting a 
feeling so far because this is the fourth song off of the album. We're really gonna learn what she went through the last couple of years. When she was growing up, I remember when she had that, um, was it a magazine or a newspaper? But she took a photo and she was like holding a sheet up to her and her back was bare and the media went crazy. Crazy. And ever since then, that the media was trying to present her as like this crazy wild child, this person that can't be tamed. How many references to Hannah Montana and Old Miley am I going to make? We should start counting now. <laughs> but anyway, what I'm trying to say is throughout all those years, I feel like I've never really known who Miley is on the inside. I feel like this album is going to be really, really personal. Miss you so much. This has to be about Liam. There's no way. That's so cute, okay? Her voice is just so good. I, like, it's crazy because obviously I know she has a great voice, but it's so versatile. Obviously we've heard bangers, we've heard the pop hits. We know that she can do that, but to hear her just so, like, I don't even know how to explain it. She just really thrives and strives with this kind of a sound. Anyway, this song though, it was cute as hell. Where was that one lyric? When you look up at the cosmos, do you ever wonder if there's really even an end? It might go on forever like my love for you, an amount that's hard to even comprehend. What kind of poetry ass shit is this? Milk and honey is quaking. That's a lyric. Hello, Miley. This is so cute. What the fuck? cute ass songs is Miley gonna give me right now. There's a line in particular though, like the grass I've watched just grow. That really sticks out to me when it comes to her and Liam, just because they've gone through so much shit. You know what I mean? And you know, when they were together the first time, you know, Miley was so young and they got engaged and then they called it off. Oh, so that's why she said that she doesn't even need a ring. And when you make connections, <laughs> no, but what I was trying to say is that I think we all kind of felt for Miley when they broke up. And then when they got back together, we were all really, really happy. They're just a really cute couple. They're really good for each other, obviously. But when they got back together, I feel like they just kind of had to get to re-know each other. You know, they were both in such different points of their life. It's kind of like being with a new person. So with the line, like the grass I've watched us grow, they've really grown together. It's just really cute. I just really, really like them together. And now her saying that, I don't even need a ring, y'all, you don't even need to get married. Just be together, have your like five dogs, live on a farm, invite Dolly over for like Sunday brunch, and we're good. Okay, this one's called Thinking. What have you been thinking about, Miley? Where the hell you been? Oh, what, what? Tell me that you've been hanging with your friends. Something seems just a little sus. A little sus. Be about Liam. <sighs> oh, if Billy Ray said that, Liam, you done fucked up. Okay, I'm just saying, I got done having my little rant about how cute Liam and Miley are, and then she's gonna hit me with this song. Now you got me thinking too much, girl. Is this about Liam? Is he not treating you right? You gotta let us know. Ironically, the next song is called Bad Mood. Same! I'm in a bad mood now. Liam, mm, mm, mm. Bitter. Okay, this one has a bit more of a beat to it. I've been saying all of her notes have been hidden. They've been hidden vocal tracks. I'm like, Miley, what the fuck? I want to hear you belt. I want to hear some notes. And she delivered. 
I'm not in a bad mood no more. No, I really like the production though in this song. I think it was a nice change in the album. I kind of wish that they took it a little step further. I know she's really staying in kind of like the country vibe sound, but I don't think throwing in like like a bass or somewhat of like an electric guitar would have really hurt it. I think that would have really been like a nice touch to kind of capitalize on like the bad mood and like the anger and, and the moodiness of the song. Not saying like it has to be like ripping through the track, you know what I mean? Like it could be something kind of in the back, but I think that would have been a really nice touch. Is she talking about maybe the break between her and Liam and just that phase of kind of accepting reality and just being angry? I don't know. I thought I was going to get answers and all I have is questions. But some of these lyrics, you guys. And it's time for this queen to go and run another throne. Hell yeah. At first of listening to this, I thought it was like, um, like a love-hate song to the media. The whole be a cold day in hell before I'd ever be your wife. I was like, that's definitely not about the media. Okay, this title, I'm very intrigued. She's not him. All right, Miley. What? I have not kept up, apparently, with Miley and her love life. I didn't know she was she was dating a girl. Who did she date? Where the fuck have I been? This is kind of a sad song. Like I said, I haven't, I guess, kept up with Miley's love life, so I don't want to, like, assume her sexuality or anything. So, if she didn't date a girl, is it about her trying to love herself, but she feels like she can't love herself because of her love against him. But at the same time, I think in my head, girl, people are gay these days. And I feel like I have seen somewhere on Twitter that she is bi. I don't know, but either way, I really actually enjoyed this song. There was just something about the lyrics and just kind of the concept of it that I really did enjoy. And I think it's a good song that kind of normalizes bisexuality. Because unfortunately, a lot of people want to celebrate bi people, but then erase their sexuality. Especially if it's a girl, because it's, you know, a girl that dates a girl and then dates a guy and it's like, oh, so you're straight. So then a guy dates a girl, but then dates a boy and they're like, oh, so you're gay. You know what I mean? It's not like they truly understand that you can like both genders. So any song that kind of normalizes that, I'm here for. All right, last song, Inspired. Starting with the or else they're gonna die. There won't be no trees, or ever a spree. So when I'm feeling sad, he makes me feel inspired. But no, you won't know. Vocals. This is my track. This is my track, you guys. Yes, Miley. That was a good track. Honestly, if I had to show somebody one song from this album. It would be that one. Even if you don't like the country vibe, even if you don't like guitars or whatever the case may be, this is a song that you can listen to and just be like, yeah, you're right. You know, we are made for more in this world than besides sitting here and hating each other and fearing one another and fearing what may happen. You know, we're here to make a difference, to make the world better, to make our life better and help others along the way. So with her saying, and I hope you feel inspired, that's her taking the people and the things that have inspired her and kind of putting that towards you saying, this is my experiences, this is how I feel, I hope you are inspired. Honestly, I'm here for Miley. Being peaceful and being an advocate and being an asset to this world. I'm here for it, I don't care what none of y'all say. All right, so overall feelings on this album. Like I said in the beginning, I kind of knew going into it that it was gonna be more of the country vibe, and that's not something that I necessarily gravitate towards, but I was gonna sit here and appreciate the lyrics and the artistry 
And just focusing on that, Miley has become such a mature artist and person and it really reflects in her music. Even though this might not be my favorite album from Miley, I can appreciate that she literally put her heart and her soul and her stories in this album. Now listening to all the tracks, I totally see why Malibu was the lead single and why Younger Now was the one after that. This album for me is definitely something that I'm going to listen to while I'm putting on my makeup. I always like having music that's just kind of peaceful, that gets me like it's gonna sound weird, in the zen basically before I film and I feel like this album will really do that for me. I may not be able to pop my ass to it, but I'm still gonna listen to it. Anyway, that was my reaction to this album. What did you guys think of it? Leave a comment down below saying what your favorite track is. I would love to hear what you have to say. And of course, if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to see other videos from me. Check out my other channel if you wanna see different types of videos from me. That link will be in the description box below as well as my social media links. And of course, remember to stay away and always be real and I will see you guys